let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a dinosaur. Machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly... Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes. The, the last time. There's always a last time. And a next... begins the most precious moment the result of incalculable actions and reactions trials and errors genetic mutations and unknowable combinations chaos all leading to a living breathing thinking being an entity distinct and unique and now we you just manufacture them so well done, I guess.
The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. I'd suggest making the most of any downtime. You know, send out expeditions. Get the squares to research something. Make me a coffee, that sort of thing. Uh, cream and two sugars. <laughs> This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well done. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so, what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple.
I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! This contract has just come in. I'm giving you first shot at it. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. You got a knack for solving problems. That's a valuable skill, especially around here.
The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. Contract. That's it. Period. You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Heading to collect the asset.
the job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us, or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Dr. Dua, this is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the Science Division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the Science Division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities.
Security requires vigilance and commitment to the task at hand. You've proven yourself at that. Without exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Islamat and Seros, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward. This dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus, was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious. And who's to argue? contract is complete. That means you've done good. Keep this up, and you'll be a star player. A Struthiomimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Isaac, how you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> all right, look, I am all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. It's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities.
strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer, of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. I don't think they'd offer this contract to just anyone. So at least review it.
Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Heard of a new contract that a carnivore I see this time a ceratosaurus there are distinctive spines that run down its back and a bladed horn on its head <laughs> just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone or in a group <laughs> 